thieving opportunist has stolen a van of my latest publication hot off the press. But that spanked up idiot has left the rear doors open, and now my beautifully produced, tastefully photographed adult literature is being dropped all over Liberty. Take the van and follow that trail of Donkey Does Dallas volumes 1, 2, and 3, collecting it as you go. When you follow the trail to that thieving spank head, waste him. Then deliver my donkey derby to Triple X Max in the red light district. Never forget the familia. Changing the diapers on the field the Portland area. Imaginative, exotic, constantly fresh. It is impossible. You change diapers and then you are a French maid? Fernando thinks not. Fernando knows me. Uh, I mean, you know, it's an age old problem. I mean, how do you keep the excitement in a marriage? Excitement, exactly. Passion, danger. How, Laszlo? How? Tell me how, and I give you. A big, big kiss, like I gave a woman. But I am not going to give you a big kiss. Not a kiss like I gave a woman or even a donkey. Because, because you do not know. Well, I mean, in this case, ignorance uh, kind of seems like bliss. I I wasn't really up for kissing on air. I mean, Why not, Am I not a Am I not a to you? What's the matter? Why are they talking about kissing? I mean, you brought it up. No, my friend. You say you not want to kiss me. I was talking out to say, hypothetically, you make me all personal. It's a bit different. If I say, imagine if your wife was ugly, you can nod your head. But if I say, hey, Laszlo, your wife, she looked like yesterday's dinner after I eat. You're not so happy. It's a bit different. Anyway, the marriage is impossible, Laszlo. If a man was born an angel, maybe impossible. But a man is born a man with knees. A woman to put his babies in his bed. But for his bed, he needs something else. Something magical. Under his sweat. So he starts flirting with the secretary, takes her out for a drink. One thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds of uses for the office furniture. Exactly, Lasta. I know what you are like. I see it in your eyes. A wonderer. A dreamer. A man who has knees. But an idiot. And I can save you. And I can save your marriage. <laughs> My marriage doesn't need saving. <laughs> hey, you are the one mentioning the pretty assisting and the office furniture and the Aikarama, my friend. Listen, Laszlo, and listen very closely. Your marriage is a gift. It's a present for me, both. But you are a man. I think we see by now you are no angel. I can save you. For when the man, he sees wife all fat, all early, with the dirty diapers and the dirty panties and the scrubby brush, and who knows what else. He's not thinking of marriage bank. He's thinking about, well, you thinking about your pretty assistant. We already know that, see? Um, go on. But Laszlo, what if you act on your fantasy for your little secretary with the short skirt and the pretty eyes and the dumb hair? They're smiling. What then, my friend? What then? Um, I get a sexual harassment suit. If you are lucky, my friend. But you, more likely, your marriage is ruined. Your sweetheart, she hates you. Your pretty secretary, she wants you to be her man. Your back is two square one. My friend, you and a thousand men like you. For me, once it was so. But then one day, I was driving my car, and I realized, Fernando, you are blessed. You are a miracle. A thousand miracles. <laughs> You save the marriage, and you save the man. You don't put the marriage first, and you don't put the man first. Maybe we call it man marriage. And I think to myself, oh, this is a bad name. It sounds really dumb. Then I think we call it Fernando's New Beginnings, because that is what it is, a new beginning, Laszlo. So how does this work? It is a miracle, Laszlo, a miracle. A man is a good father, a loving husband. Yeah, about you. Like a pimp? 
not a pimp, little man, a savior. In a controlled environment, I reintroduce the man to a pleasure.